Hey everybody, it's your girl Chrissy Pips. It is 101 Wednesday, the first of four videos. So I've been compiling a few questions that people have been asking and I wanted to answer those for you guys. Um, so the number one question that I've been getting is what is the Forex market, right? So for starters, Forex stands for foreign exchange. Some people also refer to it as FX. The Forex market is the largest financial market in the world and it's been around for over 100 years. Now, there's more than $5 trillion being traded each day. The market is being traded by banks, other financial institutions, and individual traders like me. Now, what does it mean to trade Forex? It means making transactions involving domestic and foreign currencies. In other words, you're buying and selling based on the value of a specific currency using different types of analysis to help determine what you think the value is going to change to. Now, an easier way to explain it would be to say, um, we're going to travel outside of the United States. Now, if you've ever been to a different country, you've been asked to convert your U.S. dollars into that country's dollar. That is currency exchange. If you've ever done that, you've already been an active participant in the market. So as an example, let's use Canadian dollars. So we want to change 500 U.S. dollars into Canadian dollars. This conversion is for an exchange. If the Canadian dollar is valued at 1.32235, and all that means is for every $1 in US dollars you exchange to Canadian dollars, you're gonna get 1.32 Canadian dollars. And we have 500 US dollars. You multiply 500 US dollars by the exchange rate of 1.32235 and you get 661 Canadian dollars. Not bad, right? Now, let's say that we've had our fun. It's been about a month and it's time to go home. Now, since we've been in Canada, the value of the Canadian dollar has changed. Now it's 1.10011. So this number is smaller than this number, right? But that's not bad. We'll convert our 661 Canadian dollars back into US dollars, just simple multiplication, and now we have 727 US dollars. So that's not bad at all. The Canadian dollar went down in value from 1.32235 to 1.10011, and that's a good thing for us. That means the US dollar went up in value, which was to our benefit since we changed our money back to US dollars. As a Forex trader, you would have made a pretty nice amount of pips off of this transaction. Just a few pips can make you a bunch of money. Now, because price movement and 4x is so small. Let's use our example again. So our 1.32235. And in 4x, it breaks everything down. So 4x is so small that we have to break down price into amounts smaller than dollars and cents. 
So one pip is equal to one tenth of a percent. So in our example, the one equals one dollar. The three two equals 32 cents. The two three equals 23% of one cent. And then the five is equal to a tenth, or I'm sorry, five tenths of a percent. Remember when I said just a few pips can make you a lot of money? We will revisit this information later, but this is just a quick breakdown. Think about six pips. Sounds like a very small number. But depending upon the size of the lot that you're trading, that six pips can be a little bit of money or a lot of money depending upon how much that six pips is worth based on what you put in. But like I said, we'll revisit this at a later time. One of the next questions that I've been asked quite a bit um, is how can I trade for X and I have a busy schedule? So think about it this way. I am a full-time mom. I work a full-time job. I do karate with my son. I still come home and help him do homework, um, cook full meals, and I still have time to trade. So the Forex market is open 24 hours a day, five days a week. So Monday through Friday, actually Sunday through Friday afternoon at about 5.30 p.m., I think, um, the market is open for you to trade. So there's, there's got to be at least a few hours during that, that period where you can get a trade or two in in either a demo account or your live account. Um, and during your downtime or your off days, find time to educate, right? Um, one of the other or the last question that I'll be going over today is how much does it cost to get started? So that's kind of a twofold question because I started my live account with only $50. Um, so not much, it's very inexpensive. Um, and in addition to that $50, I do have a subscription to a company called iMarkets Live. Um, and I went on and did all the basics and I got all of the information. I actually use something called the Harmonic Scanner which is a automated system, so to speak, that gives you trade information. And since I went through the basics and got a little bit more in depth about marking up the charts or kind of doing my own analysis, I can put my analysis on top of the harmonic scanners information just to make sure I'm comfortable with my trades before I enter. Um, now, later on in the month, since we're doing four of these for September, I'll also be going over um, a new product called BYOB Cash Out that um, a few of us are trying to learn and see how that pans out. So I'll kind of be doing a product review with you guys as well for that. Um, but that is going to conclude our 101 Wednesday today. If there are any other questions, please drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if I have enough questions, I will be doing a follow-up Friday at the same time. So we'll be doing it at 8.30. We'll be doing it live on Facebook and then uploading it to YouTube. So for now, I guess um, happy learning, you guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh.